so I'm crawling around in the pitch darkness and my only view is through the camera. Okay, I've got a snake in front of me in absolutely perfect position and posture. So I'm just gonna hang out now and hope to catch it striking on camera. It's pulled itself back up into the rocks. It probably heard me and it's feeling a little bit intimidated. Might just have to push on a little bit further into the cave. Every night, the bats have to run the gauntlet past these hanging huntsmen to get out into the forests and feed. There are tens of thousands of bats, and these must be some of the best fed snakes on Earth. There's a snake, there's one right there. The night snakes can get to over a meter and a half in length, and this one doesn't look far off. This is incredible. He's just hanging down, striking out into the air. And it seems like it's the vibrations that are caused by the bats as they're flying past it that are, he's centering on. It's not so much other cues as just the pure movement of the bats. He's got one. It's, it's actually, it's got, it's got one right now. I didn't quite get the strike on camera, but it's so fast. It's, it's wrapping coils of the body around the bat, and now what it's going to do is squeeze. There's science that shows that constricting snakes can actually sense the heartbeat of their prey so they can tell if the animal is still alive. So as soon as this bat is completely dead, it'll start to swallow it, and that's when I can think about calling in the camera crew. It's a phenomenal sight. These bats are leaving in enormous numbers. There are tens of thousands of bats flying through here and they're traveling so quickly. But this snake in total pitch darkness still has the wherewithal, the speed to strike out at and catch these bats in flight. It's just a remarkable feeding strategy. Johnny? Johnny? Now the night snake's swallowing the bat, it shouldn't be put off by our lights. maneuvered the bat so that it's head first and it's starting to work it down its throat. It's an extraordinary achievement just purely to get this bat down its throat. Look at that, it's pretty grotesque really. It's eating a bat that's many times larger than its own head. And you can see it's quite a fat bodied snake. I mean, once it's got this one down into its stomach, it might easily feed again, possibly even twice more tonight. They are absolutely extraordinary snakes. I'm looking down into the tiny, needle-sharp, backwards-pointing teeth that are delivering that back bat back into its gullet. And you can see it's having quite a struggle getting the animal down. You can see the exact shape of the bat running right down at the back of its throat. The bat-munching Mexican night snake, quick enough in strike to catch the fastest flying mammals on the wing. Definitely deadly.